Whoops. <laughs> hmm, here we go again. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, maybe. So anyway, here we are. Um and we're going up and down the street and the and when you when you do this cannabinoid sin, opioids catch. They don't get in each other's way. They don't the signals don't get crossed. Right? And that's why that happens and that's why your body works the way it does. And and so what happens is like if you're eating something, it goes down into your stomach. And, and your stomach has a little bit of hydrochloric acid, right? Well, you think, oh, wow, where does that come from? It comes from salt, okay? And, and we eat salt, which is sodium chloride, okay? So there's not just sodium in salt. It's also chlorine, right? In, in, in sodium salt, table salt. And we use that because our bodies use that. The sodium goes into the this system here with the with the nerve cells, um, and the the um, the alkali metals, which is what sodium is, calcium, potassium primary ones so <clears throat> uh, and, and they are um, they work with alkaloids and that's what neurotransmitters are and those aren't like optional okay you, because if they're not there no signal paths signal passes. And so when you take a synthetic opioid like buprenorphine or methadone, that's what it does. It blocks signals. And they flood the body with it. Right? They just flood the body with it because they're really backwards. Our, uh, our, our um, organic chemistry has handedness like like this right and GMO poppies have left-handed ones and we have right-handed ones or you know maybe it's the other way around and I just don't know man but I know that they don't fit right because because if I but but it's got all the same exact it's a stereo isomer. It's you know, like the, the handles of this thing. And, and this one, and this one look exactly the same, but they're not. Right? You've got to put them together the right way or they don't work. Yeah. See what I mean? So... So when you get GMO poppies, what happens is you're only getting one of them, first of all, right? Because they already hooked you on that, right? They got that hook, and, and then you start going through withdrawal, and people go, fuck me, man. Where is that shit? And they go down there, and they line up, man, because um, it hurts. It feels like you're dying. And the problem, of course, is that you don't. Uh, and, and, but it keeps hurting. Because these fuckers are put on um, indigestible salts that end up in our gut. And so my three years of withdrawal wasn't just... <laughs> withdrawal from narcotics takes ten days. Okay, I used to sit with kids coming off of heroin, man. And I told myself, oh, Ricky, never, ever, ever, ever do that shit, buddy. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I was out in the air yesterday, and um, 
and my lungs are uh, um, reacting to the smog in, in Phoenix. Um, anyway, and, uh, <laughs> and so uh, here I am, coughing and choking. Um, this is this is how they hook you. They 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 get the the what they call pain medicine. It feels good the first couple of days. And, and you get some relief maybe for a month or so. But there's a ceiling. It's only, it only works so far. <laughs> you know, it's because they're not drugs, man. They're bridging the gap between nerve cells, but only on one of them. And that's the hook, right? Because if you stop taking that motherfucker, your body says, hey, I don't, I don't have any of that, and I need it because otherwise I can't feel this stuff. It, it's, it, it affects not just one place where, where this one's been parked. It affects all of them. And you know what? It hurts from the bottom of my fucking feet all the way to the tippy top of my head sometimes. And I have been cramping my belly and screaming for three fucking years. And you know what? I'm free now, man. And it is worth the price of admission. Absolutely. I would do it again standing on my head. Um, but it's not easy. It's not easy. It fucking hurts. And they're killing us, man with salt because you know what salt does those same alkali metals attract the alkaline metals in the next column over in the in the periodic table they make salts okay they make salts uh, and and the the next column over has two electrons and these only have one. So so they 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 bind together to create that, that stable kind of um, configuration where everybody's getting um, enough electrons to to become stable and salts are pretty stable. They you know they're a solid. They they turn into little crystals. Inside your body, calcium salts are almost indigestible. And almost all of our medicine is on calcium salts. From the first aspirin I ever took when I think I was maybe three or four years old, got measles. To um, about a year ago. About a year ago. When I finally figured this out. And I've been in, in salt poisoning withdrawal for a year. My little doggy came to me about...